Hi there, my name is Simon and in this video I'm going to show you step by step how to withdraw your cryptocurrency from your Qcoin account to some kind of wallet or some kind of other exchange. Because Qcoin is a crypto only exchange currently, you can't withdraw any fiat currencies like US dollars, euros and so on. So you're going to have to withdraw it in cryptocurrency, which is exactly what we're going to do in this video. So let's not waste any time and get started right away. So let's now look at how we can withdraw cryptocurrency out of our Qcoin account to some kind of wallet or some kind of other exchange. So right now I'm on the assets overview page. If you are not already here, you can just click on assets here on the top and then you'll get to this page right here. And currently I have some Litecoin in my main account. So what I'm going to do now is click on withdraw here on the top right and then the withdrawal screen will come up. Click on this little drop down menu here and then choose the coin that you want to withdraw. Currently, I only have Litecoin in my account. So I'm going to choose Litecoin here and then I'm going to you have to type in the wallet address. So um, for this tutorial, I'm just going to um, withdraw some Litecoin into my Kraken account, with it, which is another exchange. So here is the address of my Kraken account. So I'm going to click on select right here to copy the address. Then I'm going to go back to Qcoin paste the address in this field right here. Again, you always want to make sure that it's actually the correct address, that it's um, that everything looks good. Um, and then we want to type in the amount that we want to send over to uh, the other exchange. So I'm going to type in 0.1 Litecoin. And as you can see here, the maximum amount of uh, crypto value you can, ex you can withdraw here is 5 Bitcoin. If you would want to increase that limit to 500 Bitcoin per day, then you would have to do the KYC verification. Then I can also type in a remark. So let's just say just for the tutorial and the fee, like with most exchanges, it's 0.001 Litecoin. Then I'm going to click on confirm right here. And then we get to the tamper proofing confirmation. This is actually something I haven't seen on other exchanges before. But as I say here, you should just confirm that this um, text that you see here has uniform font, color and also pattern design, which is the case right here. So I can click on confirm withdrawal. And then I have to type in the trading password that we have set before. And when we have set up our Qcoin account, so I'm going to type that in here. And I'm going to also have to um, to generate a confirmation code that is sent to my email. So I'm going to click on send code right here and then I'm going to go to my email inbox, go back to Qcoin and paste this code right here. And then also the two factor authentication code. Now I have set it up on, um, on Google Authenticator. So I'm just going to go to my Google Authenticator and then I'm going to type in the code that I see here. I'm just going to wait for a new one. So 389181 and then I'm going to click on submit and that should be able to now transfer over to the address that I have typed in here. Then after setting up this transaction, I can always go to deposit and withdrawal history right here and then click on withdrawal history. And here I can see that I have one pending transaction, 0.1 Litecoin going out of my Qcoin account to this wallet address. And I can also click on view transaction right here to see it on uh, blockcipher.com where I can see how many confirmations it already has. So I can kind of track the progress of this specific transaction. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, I'd really appreciate if you'd click that thumbs up button down below. Also, if you have any questions, leave them down below in the comment section and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Also, if you want to see more videos just like this one, make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. And with that being said, thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.